What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Today, we've got an early breakdown of our week three NFL game picks outright versus the spread along with our locks of the week as we take a look at the Thursday night matchup between the Carolina Panthers and the Houston Texans. So make sure to tune in. If you enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe, give us a follow on Twitter at All Day Pigskin to continue interacting with us there. And let us hear it in the comment section. Do you agree, disagree, along with any other questions you guys might have? We will do our best to answer them all. But with that being said, let's get right into it. And for today's breakdown, we will be using Odds Jam to help us guarantee we are getting the best possible bets and odds out there as far as this game is concerned. Because frankly put, Odds Jam has one of the best online databases of information when it comes to uh, live sports shopping on these lines and just comparing sports books not only for the NFL but pretty much across all sports so you can maximize your profits and not only that but whether you guys are beginners or advanced bettors take advantage of odds jams betting tools like the positive EV which shows you line discrepancy so you know you're getting the best odds and their arbitrage tool so you can get equal and opposite bets for risk-free returns so make sure to check that out link in the description but with that in mind let's get into our matchup we've got the Panthers at the Texans the Panthers two and Oh, still undefeated, somewhat surprisingly, absolutely demolishing the New Orleans Saints last week where Jameis Winston couldn't do anything right and the Panthers defensively stifled the Saints. Offensively, they did enough to get the victory as well. While the Texans, uh, it's a different story for them. They are 1-1 one one after losing to the Cleveland Browns, but for them, the bigger loss is that of Tyrod Taylor, the starting quarterback who will now be replaced by Davis Mills. And don't get me wrong, look, Tyrod Taylor isn't an elite quarterback. I stand by that. But he's a better option than what the Texans have in Davis Mills, who's a rookie, who doesn't really have that established chemistry with the number ones on this offense for the Houston Texans. He hasn't worked extensively with guys like Brendan Cooks, with, you know, David Johnson, Mark Ingram, Philip Lindsay, et cetera, et cetera. And I do think that could be a problem here. For what it's worth, the Panthers, defensively, they've been pretty good to start off the season. Now, again, I realize the sample size isn't ideal, and it's still small. It was versus the Jets. Everyone's going to look good against the Jets. And the Saints, to some extent, kind of just fell flat. And it was maybe just a throwaway game. So I think it's still fair to question whether the Panthers are as good as their record might suggest. But, you know... When you throw in the rookie quarterback in there, I think this is where it gets problematic. I I still don't believe in the offensive line for the Texans. I think offensively, all of their weapons, which primarily, in my opinion, is Brendan Cooks, uh, are kind of, you know, going to take a hit and don't have as much upside. So the Panthers don't have to worry about as much defensively. You know, I think they're just going to say, we're going to load up the box, make Mills beat us. If he can beat us, then so be it. But if not, we're going to dominate this game. And the Texans defense, you know, it's been given up points week after week. We, we knew it wouldn't be one of the fortes for this team. And the Panthers, they've showed the first two weeks that they can put up points. Now, granted, you know, they have the tendency to, you know, take their foot off the gas pedal. And I think that's why the game between the Jets and the Saints was closer than it should have been. But they have the capability with Sam Darnold, with DJ Moore, Robbie Anderson, obviously Christian McCaffrey to do some damage offensively. And Darnold has looked good these first two weeks. Now, again, it's been versus, you know, you could say average to subpar competition. So keep all of that in mind. But at the end of the day, I think the Houston Texans fall in that category of average to probably below average competition, especially with Davis Mills at quarterback. The money line here is going to be the safest bet. I'd be taking the Panthers on the money line uh, all day long. I think from top to bottom, they are the better team. They've got the more experienced quarterback. They've got the much better offensive weapons. And they've got the better defense, which has the better matchup here as well. I don't really care that they're on the road. This is a game that they should win. I expect a lot of points to be scored here, potentially at least on the side of the Carolina Panthers. We'll see if that's how it plays out. 
they should be able to pull away from this game as it progresses. Uh, but again, just keep an eye out for that because that's been one of the things uh, that you can kind of nitpick for them that they don't close out opponents uh, as quickly as they should. But again, uh, all the bets here say take the Panthers. Uh, pretty heavy favorites if you look if you look at it here on the money line, pretty much across all sports books that you see. But let's look at the point spread because that's where it gets interesting. Um, right now, the spread for the Panthers, uh, as we mentioned, they are favorites. Uh, they are at minus seven and a half to uh, minus eight. So that's that's a pretty big number, obviously more than a touchdown. Ideally, what I would like to do there is tease that number down, uh, you know, whichever way you look at it for the Panthers, uh, take it to like minus six for the Houston Texans, take it to plus six. Uh, I think uh, I think the Panthers can win by right around seven, eight points. That's a pretty uh, I think it's going to be a pretty close spread, but if I had to go one way or the other, right now, all the signs are pointing towards the Panthers here, uh, covering as well. If it was Tyrod Taylor here under center, this would have been uh, a sneaky game for me to choose the Houston Texans to cover. Uh, but with that not being the case, I'm going with the Carolina Panthers there as well. Uh, as far as this being a lock of the week without Davis Mills, I got to give the edge here to the Carolina Panthers, and I would put it in that category. But with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you agree, disagree, along with any other questions? If you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe, give us a follow on Twitter at All Day Pigskin. And again, make sure to check out Odds Jam to guarantee you are getting the best odds out there for all of your betting purposes. And in the meantime, we'll see you guys in future videos.